it seems like every few months I keep running into the same stupid issue with images because I keep forgetting about this kind of magic space that shows up around it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I hope to show you and by doing this video to remind myself so that next time I come up against the same dumb problem, I'll remember why it's doing it. All right, let's jump right in. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Like many things on my channel, I'm really learning and as I'm learning, I'm trying to share what I'm learning because it helps me and I hope it's a help to you as well. You can see here I've just got an image. There's nothing special going on here. I've got a div with the class of container. What I want to do is just add a style tag here and let's go ahead and just grab that container and I'm going to add around it a border that's two pixels solid and red. And as soon as I do that, you're going to see that I've got this little space down here. Now, most of the time, that's not really a big deal, but you might wonder, like, what in the world is going on? And every few months, I keep running into this, and I keep forgetting why it's doing this. So let me talk you through what I've learned, and I hope this will be a help to you. Let's just grab the image itself. And first of all, you might say something like, well, maybe it has margin on it. So I do that. No, that doesn't work. All right, let's do padding. No, all right, well, maybe it needs like box sizing, uh, border box or something. Maybe there's something weird with the, the box sizing. No, that's not it. Well, what is this? Well, it's essentially just the normal spacing you would have in an inline element. It assumes that there's line height with text and other inline elements, and it does the same thing here with an image. Now, the bigger question, how do you get rid of it? And I'll be brief here. There's a few things you can do. Probably the easiest, and what I usually do in all my clears, is just come down here and say display of block. And as soon as you do that, it disappears because it's no longer treating it as an inline element. Instead, it's a block element. The other thing you can do is change the actual flow of the document. So instead of it being like a text flow, I forget exactly the name of that, what you can do is come to the parent and say like display of grid. At this point, Everything inside of here, they are not inline elements or block elements. They're now grid children. You can do the same thing with flex, and it actually changes it to a flex child rather than an inline element or a block element or anything like that. And once again, if you really want to just protect yourself from anything stupid like this in the future, I would just come over here and always say on your images, make them display a block and make the max width of 100%. You do that, you're set to go, and that should fix whatever problems you're having with images when it comes to that weird magic space. All right, I hope this short tip was a big help to you. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.